So Vala gets a level 20 upgrade that increases her basic attack range by 40%. She used to have Nexus uh, Frenzy, which was 20 range, 20 uh, attack speed, and now it's 40%. Cool. Really cool. It is almost time. Are you ready? You are unworthy of my conversation. All right, different build. Uh, I just did a uh, sadism reduction build with utility. My team is support, support, Abathur, warrior, and Alarak, and they have warrior, warrior, support, semi-support, specialist, and Alarak. Five, four, three, two, one. Reduces the mana cost of lightning surge. Let's see what we're gonna build around this time. I'd like to do like a lightning build this time. But is there a lightning reduction? That's what I'm wondering about. A reduction of uh, cooldown. Yeah. All right. So we'll go for the lightning build. White lightning. Okay. That uh, that also happens. So I'd like to welcome all the uh, other mobile players who are trying out Heroes for the first time. It is a trade show. Uh, people may have played before. There's no matchmaking, obviously. They find nine people from the queue here, which is uh, really starting to group up a bit. So goes the train of Okay, nice lightning strike there. So Alarak's trade is Sadism. Basically his abilities deal more ability damage to heroes. Double damage. And you can buff or nerf that over time. Let's get the vision. Yeah, Vala's second wave of Reign of Vengeance almost never hit. So the fact that you can cast it whenever you want. I'm sure you could probably still do two Reign of Vengeance in a row. But now you don't have to. That's a really good change. Aki, are you here? Can you do a can you do like a, a command? I can make it a periodical. You can do a command that uh, trade show games. You can't choose your player name. It seems like exceedingly obvious, but. You just sit down and play, so everyone just shows up as a hero name. So I've got a nuke. Let's uh, let's actually aim it at the fort rather than trying to get the towers with it as well. And do we get XP for that? Yeah, we get XP for that. So that is a choice. Do you want to get max damage on the fort, or do you just want to kill the, 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 the gate? Don't say mobile accounts, Aki. It's not mobile accounts. Just uh, at Gamescom, you sit down and play. Your name will show up as a as a hero name. You don't get to choose something. There's nine people, nine Gamescom visitors playing with Grubby right now. Something like that. What's the attack speed of Alarak? It is 1.2. His range is one and a half. It's a little bit less than. Uh, Kerrigan and Arthas, but it's a bit more than uh, I think uh, like most warriors. I'm gonna get the uh, lightning range now. That's a pretty big range. Comes a bit like uh, like Thrall. That's it. That's a really big range. Cool. The max of XP range. All right, now we're gonna get the uh, cooldown reduction quest. Heroes hit between, only hit between you and the victim. Only those will re decrease the cooldown up to two seconds. So you can't easy peasy poke it by clicking the enemy Aureal. You need to hit a minion behind him to get the quest. 
We just got one. But you only need to do it ten times. So we're going to try and do some Q and W combos. Uh, that was that was a nice try. Yeah, I just got my second quest. Well, it's going to take some practice. Hey, Grubby, excited to see you streaming this. It must be cool to be there. It's it's awesome, man. All this new content. I don't have a try mode, so I can like try the heroic ten times in a row. All right, that was a combo. That was cool. Of course, he didn't move, but. Got four quest stacks now. That Aureole tried to heal me. Did he take uh, the damage? No. Alright, at level 10 we're gonna take what? We'll take the uh, charge again. Ah, nice. We got a full combo. All three abilities to get the final kill. Cool. Uh, I'll get the deadly charge. It does 296 damage, but it gets increased by your sadism, so you do 600 damage to all enemies in the path. So goes the train. All right, that was a combo. So, for those that don't know yet, W is a skill shot with a drawing mechanic. I'll show it again. So. When you press it somewhere with quick cast, you hold it down and you can start aiming. And then you can push them in that direction. If you right click, you disable it. And it can also be used on yourself. So it can hit multiple people at the same time, including yourself. And you can kind of combo that by uh, pushing people in and then silencing them with your uh, Q. It is a silence and significant My damage also. We've got the uh, higher level mechanic working right now. Which is going to make everything look awesome. Pretty cool. Can Zarya be a solo tanker? She likes Sonya. She's a lot more like the medieval of warriors, Zarya. She can shield allies. She's ranged. She has tankiness, but she doesn't have stuns. She can get slows. Zarya should not be solo warrior. Like, probably as bad as uh, Sonya. Wait, I, if I take damage, it gets cancelled. That's what. That's why it didn't work out. All right, so you can't. You must use it as an engage. You cannot use it to escape. That's that's the point. Can you charge over terrain? Let's try it out, dude. Oh, ho, ho! Vor underscore that. It pays to read Twitch chat. Just goes to show. Nice. It can be used over terrain. <laughs> no kill. Can be used over terrain. Uh, now what do we get? Increases sadism when nearby allies die. Well, that's not going to happen. Telekinesis damage. It does 80 and you can... You can make it deal 160, which of course gets buffed by sadism, so it'll do 320. 320 instead of 
160. It seems like a really poor deal for level 13 skill, but okay. What happens when you charge into terrain? You don't. Makes sense. Can't divide by zero either. Let's see if I can push him. Is this the best healing you can do? My quest is completed, which means Lightning Surge cooldown has been decreased. It's only six to begin with, so it's four now. Oh, wait. Or is it from eight to six? No, I think it's from eight to six. No, it's actually four. Wow. So it's a four second cooldown for a damage of 156 which uh, actually becomes 312 against heroes and this is at level 14 and it also goes on everyone in between you and the target and then you heal from that so that is a pretty big self-sustain if your enemies are kind enough to group up all right i'll take it all right Oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, Abba. <laughs> Organism satisfactory. Fire. Maybe later. Go, go, Abba. Show dance, please. Sure, I can show dance. Don't mind me, just show my moves. Uh, increases lightning surge healing. Oh, cool. Lightning surge center beam damage. Oh, cool. That's for everyone in between. Oh, did Abba nuke yet? Yeah, nice. All right, so people caught in between get more damage. Let's try that out. Oh. The choice. Let's, uh, yeah, we can't charge out of this. Whoops. Oops. Too bad you can't. Wait, what is. Did you just seeker missile me? <laughs> it's like, what? What happened? Alright. Everyone is dead. I can't use my lightning surge anymore. Maybe like this. No. Oh. Meh. So I have not yet used my level 16. And it's only heroes? Oh, okay, it works on minions also. But of course, they don't get sadism, so. And then he had to, he had to burrow out of it. Still haven't used it. Still haven't used it. Get in between. Still did. <laughs> didn't manage. We'll get it sometime. Yeah, we got it. Oh, they want me, all right. Oh, that was a lot of damage on Medivh. I like it. Cool. Does telekinesis interrupt? Just like every other displacement in the game, it will interrupt stationary channels, but it will not interrupt uh, moving channels. So, Morshpit, yes. Uh, Lily's Jugs, no. So for those of you who have tuned in and you don't know what's going on, we're here at Gamescom, which is in Cologne, Germany. It was a two hour train ride for me. And uh, I'll be here for the whole week until Sunday. I'm streaming today and on Saturday and on Sunday. The schedule is on the Gamescom Blizzard Hub. Uh, 
There we go. All right, this is my uh, third try of Zarya at Gamescom 2016 in Cologne, Germany. I'm playing the special Gamescom build, which means it's a local area version, which only people that visit the Gamescom can play. So we've got nine people here, four on my side here on the right, and there is uh, another five. I see one person playing with a single hand. That is uh, fortuitous. It's playing like this. Maybe I should do the same. No, I won't. Uh, I'm, I want to try out another build here. Maybe together we are strong. Every time I shield an ally, it uh, will give me more energy. And that's how my trait works. I don't have mana. I just have cooldowns. When I get energy, I get bonus damage. Uh, so every point of energy is 2% bonus damage. You can get up to 100 energy. So if you are good at multiplying something by three, you'll know that that's a multiplication of three of all your damage, which is pretty cool. I am going to go to the solo lane because guess what? People still five-man mid-party. I love XP. I always have. So once we get into some kind of version of trade show team fights, we can see what that works like. What were the Vala changes? Yeah, maybe we can uh, we can have maybe we could check the VOD or have a YouTube video of that or maybe I'll play Vala later. I think that'll be the best because Vala had a number of changes. So look at this. I've got 22 auto attack damage, but I'm doing 28, 28, 25, 26, 24, 23. So it's depreciating, yeah. That's because energy has a three second negative depreciation. So. We can bring that up by taking damage while we're in shield, but if we are not taking damage in shield, then we don't actually get any bonus damage. Keep in mind also that Zarya is classified as a warrior. Uh, we're going to take intentional damage here to buff up our shield, and then you can see it better. We've got 23 attack damage, but actually we're hitting for 40 here. Also, our Q is doing 124 damage instead of 70. But if we do another Q, oh, now it's only 106. So she has a very varying uh, damage output here that is based a lot on uh, how well she shields up pre-damage. So if you want to get better at Tassadar, Zarya is a great one to practice because you've got to shield right before the damage, same as uh, Medivh, basically. All right, we're going to pick up the uh, objective on this map, which is a warhead. The map you're looking at is Warhead Junction. You channel it for about five seconds. I shielded myself, so I'm going to get lots of bonus damage from that, which is nice. I uh, got to get out of here, though. I can't resist all that. Shield Gazlo. And I take energy from that as well, which is cool. I'm going to try and go for a uh, speed barrier. Just buff my allies a lot. That, sh that should be quite fun. I did shield Tychus, he, so he got a, a, a boost from that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice, Tychus. Take some uh, damage here from the Ford to buff my hope. My hope, uh, I, I call it hope, sorry. My energy is doing a lot better this game, thanks to shield ally as well. Shield ally increases allied heroes' movement speed for during its duration. But I guess... Okay, so I guess if uh, if you cast it and they um, they actually get their shield popped immediately because it's only 532 damage, in that case, the movement speed will amount to nothing because it's gone already. Take the pain. Did I say hope again? Shield ally does not work on minions, only on allied heroes. So you can't make use of your together we are strong if you are a solo laner. Let's go to the mid lane, join that uh, party in the middle a little bit. It's a really long roam distance from the top to the middle, guys. 
with a lot of traps as well. I probably could have saved Tychus, right? Uh, I'm buffing my hope. Uh, sorry, my energy acquisition here. Uh, shield damage that contributes more energy. I'll get that one. Or increase basic attack width at high energy. Oh, uh, let's get hit me. Hit me! I am here! Click me! Alright. Cool. I got lots of uh, energy from that. I'm at full. Wow. We're doing loads of damage now. Wow, we're at full energy for a long time here. We're doing 80 damage on our autos here every four seconds. Nah, this is way better than the other build I was playing. We're at like high energy all the time. Oh yeah. Nice. There we go. We're doing 73 damage on a base of 27. It's true that times three really is times three, go figure. So he got that nuke. I'm gonna get the other warhead, which is uh, right here. Are the new heroes of maps gonna go through PTR straight to life? That I do not know. Oh no, I'm, I needed that globe. He just started a camp. Let's uh, let's go. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Oops. All right. So let me use that time that we created there uh, by. Uh, illustrating the heroics we've got. We've got a one second uh, delay on a 120 second cooldown that draws all anim enemies, enemy heroes, not enemies, enemy heroes, into the center for two and a half seconds. But it's got a two minute cooldown. It's very powerful, I've been in it, it's no fun to be in it. Then you've got a 45 second cooldown expulsion zone, which deals damage, it keeps people out of an area much like a StarCraft Sentry force build might. But it does it more in a lap to the slaughter butcher heroic kind of way. It keeps kind of like pushing them out of the middle. And then it also, uh, yeah, it knocks them back and it gives them a 50% second slow. So if you cast it on an enemy gate, that's a no-go zone. So I actually kind of like that one. I thought it was the weaker one at first, but it has a lot of utility and it actually deals damage, unlike the other one, which only sets up for damage. So, so we cast it here. Uh, you see Ariel is getting pushed back multiple times. And now we're going to use our four charge particle grenades to finish that one off. Pretty cool. Yeah, that ult is like the Hall of Storms. It's, uh, I mean, it also does slow and damage, so it's really a bit different, but it basically is, yeah. Alright, we've still got a bit of energy. We're gonna take some uh, energy here from this fight. Try to dodge. I think it's best against Ariel to keep rotating around him. Oh, sorry. It's best against Alarok to counter him, to rotate around him. He's gonna charge! Boom! Combos! Nice. Very nice. Yeah, you gotta rotate around him and kind of walk away from him because he's got a short cooldown silence on his Q, which does pretty decent damage, several hundreds of damage. And uh, by actually moving around him, it's very hard to hit because he does it in this shape. So if you move away from him, it's, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty good dodge. So you kind of kite around him. Alarok's passive is just that he does bonus damage to heroes with abilities. 100%, but it's modifiable by talents, either up or down. You know, for benefits and drawbacks. You shall not take the vision, that's an expulsion zone. Pretty nice boss steal as well. 
gonna do this. This Toronto's pretty good. Hoppa! Nice! So now we want more energy. Let's see. Energy gives you max health per... The energy gives you a shield. Okay. Or gain resistance at high energy. That's that's pretty cool too. Let's try that one. I want to try that one. Oh look, he's stuck on the wall. The, the consistent slows. That's kind of a waste of a nuke. <laughs> I guess they wanted to try that out. Seems legit. So how much energy do I need to be at? 75%. That's kind of unforgiving, man. Oh, this is his heroic. That's the two-minute one. All right, let's get the nuke. We've got top damage as warrior. It's the dream. Bliska next. Who will join me, guys? Let's make a team for BlizzCon. Reduces cooldowns at high energy. Wow. While at or above 75, cooldown reduction. Or? No, let's just get that one. This murky can't go home. I'm going to cast that straight on the enemy forward. Double nuke. There we go. And bada bing, bada boom. 5,500 damage. So, one thing that I noticed is that nukes don't scale in damage over time. The objective remains consistent. It does 2750, the first nuke you ever get at level like 9 or 7 or whatever. And then it's still 2750 later on as well. The way that that's balanced is that you get more nukes as the game goes on. And because it's a very powerful heroic in the sense that it's targetable. Nukes also hit enemy heroes, so go ahead and read it. It's a one and a half second channel at the following range, as you can see. It does double damage in the center. Uh, it does say, though, that enemy heroes can only take max 30% of their max health. Yeah, so even a murky will not die from a nuke. A Chogal takes, like, Two, three thousand damage. A murky, he will only take like four hundred damage from the same nuke. So it's uh, max health capped. So I need to get some uh, energy. Don't nuke like that against people, man. Look, he's got the movement speed. It's like uh, Tassadar's evasion shield, evasive shielding. It's pretty funny. So he got stun locked. I mean, slow locked. Does your AA splash hit Murky's buffer? I don't know. I didn't try it. It's a good question. We'll need to see if we can uh, kind of reproduce that. It's really hard to get at high energy in skirmishes. In a team fight, if someone gets focused, sure, but I don't know if there's enough ways to gain bonus energy. Like, I haven't had energy in a long time. There we go. Now I've got cooldown reduction. I've got a lot of bonuses here. Yep, that's the dream. So we basically... We are like docile all the time. <laughs> Holy. So we go from docile to mean killing machine. What bonuses do we get? We get resistant and we get 25% uh, cooldown reduction. And as long as we keep taking punishment, we can keep that up. Well, let's go. We are resistant. We've got loads of damage. Wow. Oh, hello. I'm still resistant though, and it saves me. The resistance saves me. 
That's that's what I like to see. We got instant value from our build, guys. Finally. So that's weird. I just spent like minutes long on no energy, and suddenly it's just it's hammer time. It is hammer time. We've got cooldown reduction. We've got shields, and we're dead. We're not dead. The resistant. The resistant saves us again. Activate to reset personal. But yeah, let's get that one or this one. Radius max energy. All right, let's get that one. Cool. So what does this do? The radius increase and Zarya's maximum energy temporarily increases by 10 per enemy hero hit. Okay. So it's kind of like metamorphosis. It's like metamorphosis in the sense that you need to hit people with your alt and then you get something better out of it. Yeah, you definitely don't want to poke Zarya if she's got her shield on. Look, full. We do so much damage now. Can we just alt the core and deal damage to it? <laughs> nice. That's what I like to see. Uh, so there's the stat screen. I managed to just summon it up before the end. There's no like post-game stat screen because it's a trade order build. Cool, cool, cool. 